Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm the technical director here at Pure Storage for VMware Solutions. And I'm here with... Craig Waters, I'm the uh, senior product manager for FlashStack, VMware, and Microsoft Integrations. And what we're here to talk about today is uh, vRealize Operations Manager. Yeah. So, uh, in your own words, Craig, what is, what is VROPS? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, good question. So, so really what VROPS does is it gives you this visibility into your um, VMware infrastructure. But the great thing about it is, is it's going to show you from a virtual machine all the way through into the flash array or the you know, underlying storage that's connecting to the system. What I think is really great about it is, is that it gives you these visualizations so you can actually see heat maps, you can see information of like, you know, what the capacity or performance of a system is. So it gives you that graphical visibility, you know, which would be really good for a knock or something like that. But it also, I think the key benefit really is, is that you have this contextual view. So I can actually go into VROPS and drill into the components that make up my infrastructure and show the relationships between those. So I could start from a virtual machine, I could drill all the way down to the underlying storage. So it gives me great visibility end to end. So, so if there's an issue or a problem that exists, I can kind of really quickly identify where the cause is for that particular issue or problem? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of um, a lot of metrics out there, right? Capacity mm -hmm. information from a storage perspective or a VMware perspective, a CPU, memory, performance stats, right? IOPS, latency, yeah. all these types of things um, that are out there, right? From your different products, your switches, your storage, your VMware environment. And VROPS is a way of kind of pulling that all together and be able to make correlations, right? Yeah, uh, where, yeah. hey, I have a latency issue, where in the stack is that latency coming from, right? And you can look at the different metrics and relate them to one another via heat maps or reports. And um, um, you can even create what they call super metrics, right? Where you take yeah, one metric right. and yeah. combine Com it with another one with yeah, some yeah. logic, right? To, to build yeah. your own things. There's a lot of customization. So um, there's another product out there from VMware called uh, Log Insight. Uh, we have another one of these videos where we go into that. What's the difference between Log Insight and VRealize Operations Manager? Yeah, I guess I guess the key thing is is that with Log Insight you're actually pulling uh, syslog information, um, so you know you've got to kind of point it to all the different systems, get all that syslog information, and then from there you can show a graphical view. Whereas with VROPS, really you're pointing it to the vCenter. Um, uh, system and then to the um, storage systems that are kind of related to um, to your, inf your VMware infrastructure, and, and pull in that information. But it's much more related to the components that make up your infrastructure, and not necessarily the system log information that's being presented. Yeah. So like VROPS is kind of more about like um, trending and projection hmm. and, yeah, and yeah. performance information and, and correlation around that type. Um, log insights maybe more around auditing and kind of seeing yeah, what's, yeah. what's happening, what are people doing, and, and VROPS is more about what are my pieces of my infrastructure doing and how are they behaving and um, what's the health of my environment. Yeah, I mean, trending is a good example. I mean, we do think, that, I think in there there's stuff like, like top 25 performing volumes. So, you know, you can do that from a performance or a capacity perspective, for example. So, you know, which, which volume's the most full or which volume's got the most VMs on the, the uh, you know, chewing up performance and what, you know, which VMs are actually chewing up the most performance, those sort of things, you know. And with the, the Flash Array, right, we, once again, we want to help you with these products and so we create integration, right, um, for these uh, different vRealize products and so forth. And what we've done with uh, VROPS is we've created what's called a, a management pack. Yeah. So what, what's a management pack? Um, well, really, it's um, I guess what we do with a management pack is we kind of create all the um, you know values and, and metrics that is, and, and stuff and identify like an object associated with those values, and then that management pack gets imported into VROPS, and so we can have that contextual view that I was talking about before. I can look at a particular volume or VM or whatever it might be and understand the relationships that back to you know our pure storage products that we're integrating with in that particular you know infrastructure that we're uh, monitoring. Yeah, exactly. So I mean it pulls in our performance stats, our capacity stats and our objects, right? So like yeah. you said if you want yeah, I have yeah, a yeah. VM what array is it on? What volume on that array Definitely, is it yeah. using or volumes, right? And the management pack automatically kind of correlates those two things together. So when you, when we make that connection in the management pack that connection is made for you. So if you want to run a report on, hey, I want to see the latency across my stack, yeah. you don't have to do the correlation. You just pull in the metrics that you want for the objects that are related to one another. Uh, so that makes it a lot easier. And there's default dashboards and heat maps, right? As you mentioned, like people, uh, what volumes are reducing well? Which ones are not? Which, mm. uh, what's the latency across all my volumes? What are the top 10 volumes with 
uh, highest IOPS or throughput yeah, yeah. or whatnot, right? Yeah, and we've got like we've got default dashboards for both, you know, from a performance perspective, but also from a capacity perspective as well. So, and, and that'll show you like graphs and stuff as well. So it's like heat maps, graphs, and then lists showing, you know, the top performing or the top capacity volume, those sort of things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And those dashboards are are generally the ones that we get the most requests for, and so mm, they're default mm. inside of the management pack. But of course, the nice thing about VROPS uh, is that you can build your own, right? You can yeah, take any metric we have, again. Yeah. combine it with um, something from, you know, UCS, for instance, yeah, right? Yeah. There's a management pack for Cisco UCS, and there's a bunch of information that comes from that, metrics and so forth, and of course, VMware. You can correlate across your entire stack depending on what you use. And there's a ton of management packs out there. So if you have a switch, if you have an application, if you have a, an array, like the Flash Array, go to the VMware Solutions Exchange, you'll probably find a management pack that does pretty much what you are looking to do. Great, yeah. Right? Um, but there is a lot of customizable options around here, and one of them is, like we mentioned before, creating a report. Right. Hey, I want to. See, I want to see every Monday. I want to see uh, my top ten volumes from a data reduction standpoint, or my top, my bottom ten. Right. I want to know why yeah, is why yeah, is this not reducing? Yeah. What's going on? So let's take a look at a demonstration of actually creating a customized report using vRealize Operations Manager and also using our management pack. Let's do it. Yeah. So this is a view where you create a new template report inside of vRealize. Uh, and inside of this, you can call it whatever you want, you give it a description, and then you choose different metrics and so forth, different objects that you want to report on. If you want to limit it to one array, you want to limit it to one vCenter, one host, right? Any object inside here you can report on, right? If I have one data store, I just want to report on the VMs in that data store, you can customize it pretty specifically, right? So you can choose one of the adapters um, that are inside of there, you can choose one of their objects, right? We have a host, a host group, the whole array, a volume, a snapshot and then you can pull the metrics from that, and so then create a report. And all the metrics that we pull in via the management pack, which just comes from our REST API, um, are available inside of here for you to use, right? So you see data reduction, you see IOPS, you see latency, uh, and we'll choose data reduction, right? I want to create a report on uh, the data reduction of my volume so I can see how, th how well things are reducing. Is my, envir oh. is my environment efficient? Is it not, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, and so you can you can conform how this report's going to look. You can do all kinds of different kind of models around. Is it is it a chart? Is it a, is it a bar? Is it a pie graph? Whatever, right? Um, or you can just simply do a list. And once you're done creating that report, um, you can then have it created on a certain interval. Right? I want to create it once a week, once a month. I want it to be sent out. Um, I want this specific cover page, however your organization likes to see these reports and how they want to be sent out. Right? And so I can generate this report also on demand, which is what I'll do right now. And then we can take a look at what actually happens. Right? So there's a variety of ways of getting this delivered. Right? You don't have to log into VROPS, you can have it emailed. Um, it's fairly flexible uh, to what you can do inside of VROPS with these reports. And so if we open up the PDF, we can take a look and we'll see my very basic report on the data reduction um, of, of my volumes on this particular array. And there's not very exciting, there's one volume on this array, but you get the idea. Right? And so uh, the management pack plus VROPS gives you a lot of additional options to report and trend against your arrays, your VMware environments, your compute environments, um, beyond just what the array shows, just beyond just what VMware shows, where you can correlate these events, these metrics, these whether it be capacity, performance, um, and then customize it to exactly your, your organization's need or, of course, your infrastructure. Uh, once again, if you want to download the, the management pack, it's available on the VMware Solutions Exchange, um, and it is free. We do not license it, just like all of our integration. Uh, if you want more information on the management pack, check out the links provided along with these video, or, of course, go to purestorage.com. Thanks a lot, Craig. Thank you.